Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Chris. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we are very, very, very lucky to be opening up this box. I never thought I'd be able to get this for retail. So recently Pop Culture had a restock of a certain Captain America uh, diecast Funko Pop. Um, I managed to get on and I just missed that. Just, just, just. But I did a little bit of searching thinking, hmm, if they're restocking all these ones from Funk Kong that recently dropped, I wonder if they've got this particular pop. And I found it, and it was still available in the mystery bundle because they decided to do a quick restock of this. It sold out in minutes. I was one of the very lucky ones to be able to add this pop to the collection. So I paid $199 for this bad boy, and it is the Black Light White Rabbit and this came with 11 other mystery Funko Pops. So this is gonna be awesome. We've got the Funko Pop Landia mystery box, White Rabbit Blacklight, includes White Rabbit and 11 mystery exclusive pop vinyl figures. So I cannot believe I got this for $199, which means the pop itself is worth the retail price. I wasn't gonna care. Maybe the other 11 are something that I either have and I can sell on or trade on or do something with and make that money back. But I was so freaking um, excited that I was able to get this pop from Pop Culture and that I searched it, but again, in minutes, it sold out so quick because everybody, every man, woman, child, dog, cat, goldfish, pelican, you name it, has been searching for this Funko Pop without having to pay an arm and a leg or having to sell old grandma or grandpa down to the black market for spare parts just so they could afford to get their hands on the elusive white rabbit, black light. So let's open up the mystery box and see what Funko have sent us, sorry, what pop culture have sent us and hopefully they haven't sent us any boxes that are damaged because honestly that'd just be so awful. So anyway, we've got the knife. Let's get into it, everyone. Let me know at home in the comment section below if you are able to pick up this particular black light white rabbit from the recent con. Also, if you're new here, make sure you hit the like button and the notification bell. That way you won't miss anything. And please, subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. We unbox awesome stuff all the time. All right, here we go. We've got, all right, so Pop Culture have sent this in two six pack boxes so let's get those out and take that one away all right let's start off with box number one and check out what we've got in the 200 dollars mystery box ignore all the planes going overhead apparently it's bloody busier than run them all in the sky tonight all right here we go let's see what we're adding to the collection i'm hoping that maybe just maybe i'll get something i haven't actually got that i've wanted so that would be pretty cool, but normally I get all the doubles and crap that I've already got. So let's see what we get. All right, here we go. So put it on the side. Let's start off with pop number one. Here we go. Three, where's the front? There's the front. Three, two, one. We've got, oh, Toki Doki, uh, Sabo-chan. Now I was on the fence about these Toki Doki. I've never heard of these before, but these are from the the recent con and I thought they were really cute um, I have no idea what this is from if you at home know please let me know in the comment section below I have no idea they were really cool I did particularly like the one down there Stellina I thought that was a pretty cool looking pop um, but yeah if you know what this Toki Doki is it looks to me like perhaps an anime show or cartoon or something um, not a line that I normally catch um, uh, collect but yeah that's not a bad pop you know pop number two where's the front there it is there pop number two is oh we've got roboto so this one is a pop that i already do have this is from masters of the universe again another one from the recent fun con so yes i already do have this funko pop it may end up in a giveaway or a waffle or a trade or something in the future so hmm, let's see how that goes all right pop number three with the front there it is there pop number three is oh, oh god deadpool this is the e triple c deadpool with the bunny rabbit um legs a funko pop i already actually do have i think or did i get rid of my other one i may have got rid of the duplicate one but 
we've got it again. Somehow, Deadpool always finds his way home to me. All right, pop number three. Here we go. So, so far, the quality of these pops, um, the box hasn't been damaged, which is great. Right, pop number four. Where's the front? There it is there. Pop number four is, we've got the Simpsons. This is the Belly Dancing Homer, another one I don't actually have. Was on the fence about getting this one. This one I might hold on to for a while. The Simpsons pops are very popular. Um, so, you know, this could be something I could put up for a future trade, but it's very cute, very camp, very camp, very um, interesting. Belly Dancer Homer from The Simpsons. But again, box is in mint condition. So I'm holding on to my breath to make sure that this white rabbit is in a plus condition because it's going to go into a stack, of course. All right, here we go. Pop number five. Here we go, pop number five is, oh, we've got the other one, Mantena, another Funko Pop we already have from the Masters of the Universe. This is another E Triple C. This is the 2021 E Triple C Mantena from Masters of the Universe. Box is in pretty good condition again, so that's great. Actually, just off topic, that is actually one of the best Funko Pop renditions I've ever seen. When you look at the original toy line of Masters of the Universe, those retro toys, I think this was one of the best, um, I guess, uh, replications of that particular toy line that it's based on. I think they did such an amazing job with Mantana. So that's really awesome. Okay, pop number six. So this is the halfway point of the box. So pop number six is the Atom. Okay, so this one doesn't have the black light in this particular box, but we've got the Atom from Justice League. This was released this year. This is the WonderCon from 2021. This was a great pop. I already have this pop. Um, I have to say this was one of the best design pops I have ever seen. I thought they did such a fantastic job with this molding. Kudos to Funko for designing that particular one. Here we go. Pop box number two so our elusive white rabbit is going to be in here somewhere all right so let's see what we get now when you think about it those retail box those retail prices are 25 dollars a box so that's 150 dollars what's in here is 150 dollars that's 300 dollars we paid 200 dollars for this box so you know what i'm not going to complain we've done all right with the box Let's just hope we can add something we don't have because so far, half of them I do. Wait, four of them I do. We've only got two new ones. All right, here we go. Next one up. Let's, oh, here we go. Next one up. Okay, where's the front? There it is there. So three, two, one. There's the bad boy himself. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. This is what we've been looking for. The White Rabbit Blacklight. Check out that bad boy just there. That is freaking cool. That is great. The box is in mint condition. That is fantastic. That now completes the Alice in Wonderland um, black light set for me. I've got all five of the Funko Pops. This is hot commodity right here. So I am so happy that that arrived in perfect A1 minty fresh condition. And I bet you believe that's going into a hard stack a bit later on because that's a future grail. Because at the moment it's a grail, it's going to be a future massive grail. I can just, I can feel it in my loins. All right, so here, everything else is now cream above the butter. So I think that's the same I just made up. Okay, here we go, pop number, where are we up to? S eight, okay, here we go, front and, oh, another one we have, Shockwave from Transformers. Gotta say, another great mold, a fantastic pop. This one was just brilliant. I was so happy when I heard that they released this. This was great. The molding on this is spot on. Fantastic Shockwave pop again. Box in minty fresh condition. Can't complain about that whatsoever. That is great. Shame I've got so many. They've chucked in a lot of what duplicates, I guess. All right, here we go. Number nine. Front is there. And Batman Scythe. Now, this is one I didn't pick up from the recent con. Batman Scythe. But this is another fun con exclusive. A pop that I did not add to the collection from the recent con. But box is in minty fresh condition. So, do you know what? Haven't got it, not going to complain. Can add it to the collection now. Okay, three to go. Here we are. 
Here we go, there's the front there, and oh, we've got the wardrobe. This is another 2021 Funcon release. This is a heavy beast, a heavy, heavy beast. This is the wardrobe from Beauty and the Beast. It's a really cool pop. It's just, it's so heavy though, it's really weighty. But another pop we do not have in the collection. Two to go, here we go, second to last, front, and Captain America, Man and Wolf. All right, we don't have the Cap Wolf. Wait, did we pick up the Cap Wolf? I don't think we did. I don't remember getting Cap Wolf, I don't think so. It's not over there on the wall, so Cap Wolf, another one we don't have. So, that one's going into the collection. Another awesome Funko Pop adding to the set. So, Cap Wolf, again, pop culture. All of these have been packed with care. Last but not least, we've got Harry Potter. I don't have this one either. This is the Quidditch uh, Harry Potter from the recent con. He's uh, chasing the, is that the, oh, the key? The, is that the, oh, it's not the golden snitch. Oh, but anyway, he's on the Quidditch broom. So another Funko Pop we don't have. So look, for $200, we've got some awesome additions to the collection. Um, yeah, so some of these are going to be up for future giveaways, future trades, sales, something like that. But overall, very happy. All boxes in minty fresh condition. You know, there was probably half that I've already got in the collection, but that's okay. The other half, I'm happy to add, but that black light, white rabbit, oh... I'm glad I got that. I better keep it away from Nona Bugger Wrap because that bitch will come along and take it and try and flip it. So I better cut her hands off and make sure she doesn't get it. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you don't miss out on anything. And wherever you are in the world, stay safe. Whatever you're hunting, happy hunting. And as always, we will see you next time. Bye for now.